My name is Bhavik Patel and I'm a senior lecturer in physical and analytical chemistry at the University of Brighton. Here's my story. From the age of 10, I spent my summer holidays at my uncle's pharmacy in Hernhill, London, watching him weigh out tablets surrounded by shelves of coloured liquids. I was a clever kid and I did well at school, but when I hit A-levels, I got sidetracked by movies. The cinema was next door to my college and I frequently missed A-level classes. Needless to say, I didn't get the grades I needed to study pharmacy. My parents gave me the worst rollicking I ever had. I can't understand that boy. After all I've done for him. Thankfully, Dr Jerry Gallagher, the course leader of Pharmaceutical and Chemical Sciences course at the University of Brighton, saw potential in me and I got a place through clearing. It was a pivotal moment in my life. I didn't understand how to pass exams, but the teaching staff showed me. I started to excel. At the end of the first year, students on the Pharmaceutical and Chemical Sciences course have the option of transferring to the Master of Pharmacy course to become a pharmacist. But by that time, I was enjoying learning about how medicines were made and how they interact with the body so much that I decided to stick with the Pharmaceutical Sciences course. It was a decision that turned me into a researcher. I went on to get a PhD at Imperial College London and then I applied for and got an Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council Fellowship. I travelled the world for three years, meeting and working with top people. I became what I like to call a fusion scientist, mixing concepts like analytical chemistry and pharmacology together to create new areas of science. But Brighton was the stepping stone that opened my eyes to what science could be. I left the fellowship on a high, convinced of my own greatness. I tell you, Chuck, this guy's a genius the way he operates. Turned out the world didn't quite see it my way. I couldn't find an academic job anywhere, and I really got frustrated. Ah, it's a tough case, Chuck. Not an angle, nothing to go on. I helped put together a proposal for me to become a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Brighton. And guess what? Brighton came through again. A year later, I've worked my way to an academic job here. I've gone full circle. I now teach on pharmaceutical and chemical sciences, the same course I graduated from. What does the future hold for me? Well, I want to help students find success the way all my mentors in my journey have helped me. I want to help people find a fulfilling career in research that can change their lives and possibly the lives of millions of others. Oh, and I want to be a professor before I'm 40. <laughs>